Good evening, people of God. Thank you for being here. This is me speaking. And today I just want to encourage your hearts. I just want to highlight you with a topic about Antichrist. I'm going to read you a chapter taken from 1 John chapter 2, verse 18, just to indicate to you about Antichrist. And then I'm going to explain what is an Antichrist. God bless you for being here and I pray that the Lord will bless each and every one of you. So taking from the book of 1 John chapter 2 verse 18 it said, Little children, it is the last time and as he have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time so there is more scriptures about antichrist but i read that to indicate to let we know as children of god you know as people that need to understand that there are antichrist that gone out into the world now what are antichrist antichrist are persons who go beyond the teachings of jesus christ amen glory be to god so antichrist is persons who do the opposite of what jesus christ says you know just for instance jesus christ says that we are supposed to run the church in a certain order we are supposed to be in one accord you know having all things common when the antichrist arise he will do the opposite of that you know god deal with holiness you know god deals with persons that will walk in righteousness you understand well the antichrist will come with a difference yes you're gonna see a projection as if they're living a certain type of way but check the fruits of the spirits you understand check the fruits what they are bringing out i should say that you're gonna see that manifestation as the bible said that you shall know them by their fruits you understand so many of them is gonna project um based on holy prosperity they won't want to talk or to dealt with sin or to you know lead you in the righteous path that you are supposed to walk in they are gonna do things different just for instance you know i've seen churches where you know you find out that there are a lot of persons even eating grass because according to their pastors this is the way to heaven and the pastor told them that if they don't eat grass they will not go to heaven well the scripture show you that you has to be born again born of the water and of the spirit to be able to enter you know you have to follow accept jesus and follow him to enter into everlasting life now we understand that seeing person eating grass saying that this is my salvation that is an hero and you can understand that this is of the antichrist this is not of god and for instance other um pastors you know you're seeing them dressing naked you know saying that this is how you know god is supposed to be praised because he made us naked so we're supposed to worship him naked like what you know so these are fruits to indicate that these things are not of god no i want to go even deeper because in order to understand and to know how many of these antichrists because they they don't work all the same so you have to understand the word of god you have to know what jesus christ says in terms to understand what is wrong what teaching are they going beyond amen glory be to god so when we understand god's teaching jesus christ teaching we will understand and know the antichrist different from the true men and the true servants of god 
Amen. Glory be to God. As we have known that Jesus Christ already paid the price, you understand? So there is no more need for circumcision. So if you enter into a church or a, a templar, you enter you know to to become a child of god and they are gonna say that you has to go and do circumcision in order to be saved you know that's an hair that is going beyond the teaching of jesus christ and that is not gonna save you because you're going back to do the law amen when you are under grace so you have to understand the teaching of jesus christ in order to know you know the difference with the antichrist and the true servant of god so in order to know you have to read the word you understand and you have to work, learn the word by yourself for yourself and that is the way that you are going to understand when someone else is wrong so if i'm speaking or saying something that is wrong to you you can i you can understand because you have read the words and you know the teachings of jesus christ so whenever i go out of line you will automatically know that i have made an hair and i just want to encourage you to know the word of god read the word of god learn and know about god that you might not be deceived by these antichrist glory be to god thank you so much for being here may the lord bless you and keep you may his face shines upon you i pray the blood of jesus from the very crown of your head to the sole of your feet may you go in peace may you go and protected by the mighty hands of god god bless you thank you for your time thank you for sitting down to listen glory be to god so just get to work and know the works of jesus christ god bless you glory be to god